Good evening, everybody. Let's start play with the Northeast team basketball camp. It's the Kirksville girls against Putnam County. Kirksville in black. Nice defense. Hannah Meyer will finish it off. Kirksville had Putnam County on its heels in the first half of the ball game this morning. You know what? You can't leave Halle Burchett open. Even in the summer, Kirksville would go on to win it the final 43-20. to 20. Kirksville just had a week-long camp last week. Is it a big advantage to come to team camp the next week? Absolutely. I feel like our girls are all on the same page now, and now we get to put to work what we worked on last week at camp and even carry over from the end of last season. I think the girls are excited to be back together and um, come out here and have some fun playing some games against other people. Over in the cool gym at Scotland County in blue and Pilot Grove, Maddie Bondurant gets the three. Pilot Grove landed by nine points with 350 left to play in the game. Scotland County cut it to one only to lose by four, 33-29. Play continues the rest of the week all day, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. Admission is free. It's air-conditioned, and they have great walking tacos. The two-day Knox County Boys Basketball Summer Shootout starts tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. The last game will take place at 7:20. 11 teams lit the hardwood, including Kirksville. We'll take a look at the Tigers tomorrow night at Six. The EBF softball team is having a great year. They have won 17 out of their first 20 games. The Rockets went undefeated in their tournament last weekend. It's not just one player getting it done. Everybody is pitching in. Um, well, I think our team chemistry is just phenomenal. Like we are really close as like we all call each other sisters pretty much. So that's always good when you're on the field and you can communicate better.